Hi, welcome back to Jimmy Core, guys. This is another video in the Java FX Library Management System Development Tutorial Series. And in the last video, we have done the toolbar section. We have implemented the JFX drawer and added this uh, toolbar. That part is okay. And in this video, what I have to do is I have to uh, improve this main UI components. I mean here the issue button is not up to a mark This is not a material design text field and these buttons are not good uh, This icon is not needed. So we are going to do an overall cleanup in the main UI So <clears throat> let us start with the text field. These two are of separate sizes So first I have to change the X size into unique. I mean your common size So I'm setting that to something like 230. I think that's okay so that uh, 230 will uh, change this to same size and when you save that and here i want to convert this text field in the jphoenix library jfx text field so that can be done easily from the fxml file so i am going to the main.fxml and main.fxml here then i am going to search with the book id which is the prompt text so i call this then here i can add just jfx text field it is already imported for book uh, renewal so I don't have to import that again but I have to change that here also so I have input for book and member now it is set if you come back here we can see that uh, the book ID and member ID is all right uh, the, it turned into white that is uh, scene builder bug it sometimes uh, omit the JFX base I mean FX base color and all so let me just uh, check it it's crashing I think So let me just change that to book names and it came back. So book name. So that's okay. Now this book ID and member ID is of uh, material design. Now if I select here, it is not label, it's not floating. So I have to change that also. That can be easily done from this label plot option. So far so good. Now it will float. So if I can plus control P, you can see that book ID and member ID is now up to mark. Now we have to change this uh, button. So if you check at the button, it is using main.css, which is our old CSS and uses this class setup button. We don't want that. Instead, we have to use our existing one. So here I add an image there. I'm going to remove this image view. So delete then here i have jfx button and i am going to add our log let us try with our login class so if i select this login button then you can see that i got the nice looking button issue so you uh, but using the uh, uh word i mean login button as style class for this button also that is not good but because this name suggests it is only for login but we are using this in the main so i have to change that name for sake of clarity so let me go to the resources section and here i have dark theme.css then here if i search for login button i have a login button here i am going to change that to common section so common button then here also I am changing that to common button forward so it is no longer login screen specific so I have to move it from there to here <clears> or <throat> one more better idea is that we can uh, define it as the common button behavior so if you if we want to do that we can we can move that here so we have already FX background color if it's border color so it's good so we can do like this cut it paste it inside button so it will be common button behavior so dot button is good then here also we need don't need common button we just have to use button hover so what is happening is this button is the default CSS class for every button including the FX button and common Java FX button so the same value will be applied for every button unless we override it so this is the default button behavior let's see the login screen changes if there is any there is no change because uh, uh, it is working uh, button now if we come back here and i am changing this login button option to normal button so <coughs> that's okay i think i changed the uh, okay uh, the font size is okay we can specify font size also uh, so let us specify a font size here so fx 
font size and I am going to that set it as the 14 points and uh, let me check the login window whether it is okay with that no it is too too high I don't need 14 let us try with 30 so this login and cancel so okay I think it is much better now so GC root I will login with that then I will change this now it is uh, 13 so that part is okay so uh, we are fixing with 13 point fx font size and let us come here here we have renew button and submission button which is kind of ugly for me so what i'm going to do is i am doing the same way uh, style class is removed i don't need this style sheet anymore so i am removing that also then we have a renew and submission button so i think that icon is okay that is doing good but th that is still an image we can't have that right yeah if we want a button uh, i mean an icon we'll add it later now we have to set the uh, same size for this button that will be better so coming here layout section we can set the preferred width here and i am going to set that into 40 if i set to 40 it is too small 100 let us test 100 100 is very small 150 150 is good so submission and renew button is okay if i come here then renew and submission very good that's very working very cool now we need uh, some space for this entire book id that is pretty much close to this above bar which is not a good idea at all so let me move it a little bit so there is a problem so let's see what are the contents so it's a uh, border pane we can't move it is border pane so we have to specify our margin currently the margin is 20 so i'm going to set that margin to 30 so we will have a little more space for gripping here so that's good now we have to change this text this is this has to be text right yeah i don't remember what i gave the so here these are text so that's very good these are text and these are also text so we can use text css class for styling them so coming here i am going to do some text style so text styling for text styling, I am going to create a separate class. Let the name be main text <coughs> text. So I am going to create a class main text. Then here I can specify the fx field value. So using fx field, I can set the color. So I am setting that is fx prime. No, it is not primary. We need our uh, yellow color back. So fx secondary. So if I come back here, then we have three these three then these two so these are the five texts we have then <coughs> we can add that main text so if i select that then the color is changed then i can specify the font size also then uh, i can also set the text alignment i am setting the alignment to center first then i am going to set the wrapper width to 360 so let me explain what is wrapper width suppose uh, i change here here uh, sorry uh, here there, there will be book name suppose the book name is very really large like book name book name book name that's okay still then again book name uh, no book name book name book name so as you see it is wrapping into the next lane so that is this wrapping width after 360 pixel width it will go on to next line so that is very much required because if we don't give that our UI will I'll go inflating in both direction and that will cause many problems so this is better so book name holder so i'm giving that as book name holder then here we have author holder then i will give something like publisher here or something like that i will leave it right now let's leave it for now so let's put a sample space sample space then here we have member name then contact name so that part is okay then uh, i think we should increase the size of the text by a little bit so we can do that here from fx font size so fx font size uh we have selected 13 pt for normal button so we should try with 40 points so if i set that 40 that is pretty much okay now let us press ctrl p and let's have a look so that looks fine so we'll have a type book id and member id and uh, this will now we have to increase the width of the ui a little bit so <clears throat> coming back to the stack pane here 
let's see what is the current build. I am having the full HD 1080 with resolution system. So uh, I don't know how this will look on a 720p system. So this is 950 uh, pixels width. I am setting that to 1000. <coughs> so if I set that to 1000, uh, it is taking a little bit time to process. And uh, I am going to move these two things a little bit apart or <coughs> some breathing space for this. So let's uh, increase the size. So I am setting that to 551. So I should set it to 550. Then here also I am set, going to set it as 550. So it has much space. Then I can increase the racking space by little more so here we have the properties and here i am going to set that to 360 to 460 i will increase that to 460 and that is fine that's pretty good actually now what i'm going to do is i'm going to give some icons about this so that uh, not from this text the user can identify it as a book from the icon so simply what i'm going to do is i am going to put this first inside a vbox so i need a vbox where is vbox yes we have a vbox <coughs> And I am going to set that alignment to center. So it will come in the center. Now I will add a uh, font of some FX icon view. So font of some FX icon view and I am going to add that right there. Then I am going to set that to <coughs> set that glyph name to book. So I will get a book icon. Then I am going to increase the size by I don't know which will be better. So 30, 30 looks fine. Now I need a space between these two components. I hope you remember that breathing space concept. So uh, I'm going to <coughs> the VBox. Then inside the layout, there will be one entry called the spacing between components. So if I set this to 20, then the components will be placed with a 20 pixel space. So that's okay. Now I want to repeat the same for the member ID. So I'm clicking on member ID, wrap in a VBox. Then I uh, add a font or some icon view. Then click on the VBox. Go to the properties. Select it as center alignment. So we will get it in the center portion. Then go to the layout section. Set the spacing to 20. <coughs> and one more thing is we have to increase the font or some uh, uh, icon view uh, size. So previously I used 30. So here also I will use that. Uh, then here I don't want an anchor. I need a user. So user. So I got a user right hand. So far so good. So uh, I have the book ID, member ID, issue button is very good. Then enter book ID. I have the review option and I have a submission option. So everything is good. Now uh, I think I should stop this video right now. And uh, in the next video I will do the handling of this UI because there was a, a list view here. I removed that list view entirely. And now for renew submission I will create an entirely new UI in the upcoming video. So as always, thank you for watching this video. Like the video if you like it and subscribe for more cool videos.